said, Oh, you are the oldest boy, and you are the best boy. I love you. I'm going to give you an axe that is made out of gold. Can you make that gold with me? An axe that is made out of gold. I'm going to give you a... And the oldest boy said, no, what's the matter with this old stupid man? axe? Ready? This time you've got to clap your hands when you bring it down. And he raised the axe high in the air and he shot. But the axe broke. Are you ready? And the head of the axe, as sharp as a knife, went up in the air. Ooh. You I don't like you. And the little man looked at him and said, aha. What did he say? <laughs> Have you got something to eat and to drink? And the youngest boy said, Yes and no. And he chopped, 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 and the drink came down with a great big crash. And when the boy looked at the bottom of the tree, he could see two eyes. But the eyes were made out of Gold. Can you do that with me? And, you go, oh, 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 and he picked up the golden goose, and as he started to walk along, he thought, I'm going to take this back to see my mother. And when he tried to take it back to his mother, it made him go along the door. Ill, that is, Daddy, you're always screaming, shouting, and yelling, come here. And she put a hand on top of the mother's shoulder, do it with me, ready? And she pulled and. She was stuck to the mother. Head. You ready? Hey, 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 look at you. Hey, hey, you're making me laugh. If, I, if you could make... If you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you could make the princess laugh, you'd let you marry her. The father danced, the mother danced, the daughter danced, the vicar, the shopkeeper, the boy, the girl, the dancer, the princess. <laughs> And when the king saw that the loaves had been eaten and the wine had been drunk, he could not stop his daughter from marrying the youngest woodcutter's son. And when the old king died, that woodcutter's son became the king. And for someone who was told, put your teeth together, I don't like you, for him to become a king was a very good thing indeed. Did you like that story? Yeah. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Well done. You have sat fantastically for such a long time. Let's try something. That means to stand up. Don't do it yet. That means to sit. <laughs> So a long, but I like the idea of a where long... Where is he going to be? Now, this is going to involve trains. So where is he going to be? What? Where is he going to be? Yes. Kind of train station. Train station. Train station. Okay, that's fair enough. Okay, I've got to say, I quite like that. A rusty, busy train station. That's almost like a tongue twister. Uh, and what is he doing at the beginning of the story? What's he doing? Remember? What kind of... Chocolate is it going to be? Smooth, chunky, flat, brown, uh, sweet, sticky, old, new, yes? Chunky. Chunky, chunky chocolate. Oh, so we're, getting, we're getting into a bit of a tongue twister. Yeah, I quite like this. Sort of like uh, in a rusty, busy train station. Tap on just put eating chunky chocolate. Uh, like this. this first day of autumn. First day of autumn. So we're going to say first day 
and summer's ended, okay? So that then we've got your idea in as well, because it can't be autumn and summer, okay? First day, uh, summer's... He pulled his strong fingers through his long, broken beard. He was someone who didn't always look after his hair and his beard as well as he could. Some parts of his beard pointed one way, and other parts pointed another way. And even though he was rich, he never spent the time that he could have done to make sure that he was clean-shaven or his hair was straight. But he was happy. And now, sitting on this rusty, busy train station, he was tapping his feet in anticipation and eating a piece of chunky chocolate. He was going to go to London to visit his family. He was very excited. And on this, the first day of autumn, when summer was at its end in 1960, as he looked, he could see that there was a huge sign for chocolate down by the side of the train station, advertising a different kind of chocolate. Even though he had chocolate in his hands, he was licking at his lips. He was thinking of what it would possibly taste like. There was a boy sitting beside him on the bench with a small toy gun that rattled and sparked. And I'll tell you something, it could have got on his nerves. But the idea of him going to go and see his family couldn't stop that chocolatey smile upon his lips. Show me that chocolatey smile upon his lips. The boy was sitting on the broken end of the bench and the man looked and he knew that he would fall or perhaps get some splinters in his legs and he looked and he said, please sit still. This boy was something of a fidget who could not keep still but his mother looked and said, oh thank you very much. Um, I, I, I wonder, you, you're so kind, could I give you something for your kindness? And from back, behind her back she pulled out a bunch of flowers. I, I can't give you all of them. I shall just give you one, if that's all right. Oh, said the man, as he pulled again at his broken beard. He thought to himself, I can give that to my wife when I see her. It's going to be such a long time. This boy was now starting to stamp and scatter around the train station. And he thought, what a strong boy who cannot keep still. But when he got onto the train... Expecting to travel all of the way on the long journey to London, there was a voice that he recognised. There was uh, two voices that he recognised, three, four voices that he recognised. For there, sitting opposite him, he could see a smile that made his heart leap. For he looked and he saw his wife and his son and his two daughters. We are getting <coughs> off at the next stop and you're getting off too. We are going to go to the beach. His little boy put his hand into his father's hand and went, Dad, your fingers are covered in chocolate. The father looked and smiled, wiped the chocolate from off his fingers into his broken beard and said, I know, but let's have a good time at the beach.